Hey guys, it's Miss Shelly. I'm gonna be reading a great story for y'all today about bees. And bees are very, very important in Louisiana especially. And I know there's a lot of beekeepers and that's how we get honey. So we're gonna learn a little bit about bees and their life cycle. All right, so this book is called The Bee Man. Do you know that my dad is now a bee man? He has a bunch of hives and he will go get honey from them. He doesn't sell it, he just does it as a hobby. So let's see. And we're gonna look at this page and it says, there wouldn't be sunflowers, wouldn't be peas, wouldn't be apples on apple trees if it weren't for fuzzy old, buzzy old bees. Dusting pollen from off their knees. And Aileen Fisher is the one who wrote this little poem. So now we're gonna turn the page. This is our title page and it says, The Bee Man. So let's see. So, here's this picture. Here is my grandpa who knows in our town as the Bee Man. Here is his jacket with zippers up hood that covers his face just the way that it should when he visits his hives as the bee man. So let's see, next page. Oh, okay, so here's this page, but the main page that you need to see is this one. Here are his gloves made of cotton and leather, protecting his hands in all kind of weather. When he tends to his hives as the bee man. Oh, look at that. So Miss Shelly had a bee box at her house just like this. This is a wooden bee box. It has all the different levels in there. And that's where the queen bee and all the worker bees, they make the honey. So let's see. Here is the beehive where all the bees sleep, tucked into a box called a shallow or a deep, and then placed on a stand by the bee man. So here's the other page, you see. Okay, so we're gonna turn the page. All right, and this is our next page. Here is the smoker that calms down the bees and a hive tool that opens the beehive, beehive with ease for a much closer look by the bee man. So here's the bee man and he's looking inside of the hive to see what's going on. So let's see, and there's the smoker. So the smoker is gonna make the bees very calm. So when my dad does a smoker, he puts pine straw in there and he lights it and it makes a lot of smoke. And the bees kind of be, are very, very calm with the smoke so they won't sting. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful honeycomb that we see in the background and all of those beautiful worker bees. So here we go. Here is the queen bee who does her job well and lays tiny eggs in a six-sided cell. She's the heart of the hive, says the bee man. So what happens is they have these little cells inside of here. It's amazing how bees make this. And there's six sides, so let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right? And now here is this other page right here. It says, and we're gonna show you, so they're looking, they're gonna be about to look at the drone bees. So let's see all these drone bees. Look at those bees. I may back up so you can see the whole page. It says, here are the drone bees with big bulging eyes and a large appetite 
supporting their size. They mate with the queen, added the bee man. Okay, so the queen and all these drone bees. Look at those, that's a lot of bees. There's so many on that page. Look how cool. He gets to go with him to look at the bees. To the next page. Oh, wow. Look what he's doing. It looks like he's extracting one of the honeycombs. I wonder what he's going to get out of there. What do y'all think? Let's see. Here are the workers, 10,000 or more, who gather the nectar to bring back and store in honeycomb cells for the bee man. So... They're working very hard, and that's how we get honey. When you get honey from the grocery store or maybe the farmer's markets. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at this. Here are the house bees with swift-moving wings that dry up the nectar a worker bee brings, making honey for me and the bee man. So look at all those honeybees. Oh my goodness. My dad has something just like this too. And look, that little spigot is where the honey's going to come out of. So let's see. And he's turning it and he's going to get all of the honey out of the honeycomb. Here is the extractor. Can you see that word extractor? Oh. <gasps> Great job. It's clinkety clack, removing the honey from frames on its rack and filling up jars for the bee man. So look, there's all the honey jars. Okay, so I have something so cool to show y'all that has to do with this in a minute, okay? So let's see. <gasps> look at that. Let's see, right here, it says, here's some of the honey returned to the hive. It's food for the bees to help them survive the long winter days near the bee man. So what they're gonna do is, since the bees, what happens is they make all this honey so they can survive the winter when there's not a lot of nectar that they can get from flowers, but they make too much. So the bee man takes a bunch and gives it to people like us and we can buy it at the store, you can buy it at the farmer's market, but also he brings some back. So do you see that? You see that picture? He's bringing it back to the hive. So each hive is gonna have this. So when the bees are in the winter, they're gonna be able to go and eat the honey and still survive. Up. Oh. Here you go. I'm gonna show you these pictures. I'm gonna read about this to you. Here are the bees protected from harm. Inside the hive, bundled snug and warm. So they'll be here next year, says the bee man. So he wants to make sure they survive the winter and don't die. So what he does, he makes sure they're all warm. You see how he bundles up um, the actual, um, bee houses or the bee boxes and he wraps them up so they'll be nice and warm and they'll survive the winter so let's see we're gonna turn the page okay all right so look there's the boy helping so let's see what they're doing here is the wagon filled up to the brim with bottles of honey collected by him and brought to the house by the bee man. So look, he is bringing the honey. They're collecting it and they're bringing the honey. So what I want to do, I want to take a quick break and I want to show y'all something so cool. Hold on one second, okay? Okay, what I'm about to show you is so cool. So my dad is also a bee man and he gets honey and there was bees at my house. There's a, there's a bee box just like that. And he'll come extract the honey. And guess what he gives me? Oh, 
he gives me a big jar of honey. And if you look at it really closely, see it says Saint Seer Honey. Now, my and it's from Louisiana. And it's great to have honey from where you live. And so, when you look at natural honey, I wanted to show you this too. In the bottom, it kind of solidifies because this is all pure honey right out the hive. It's never been heated up. And so it's really, really healthy for you. And actually, if you eat honey from where you live and where you're from around, it helps protect you from getting allergies to like um, certain kind of plants and things that are around your house. And so what you could do is you could take a spoonful of honey, just like this. Michelle loves honey. Would you like a spoonful of honey? I would love to give you a, a spoonful of honey. Yeah. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. This is amazing that the bees make this. All right, so now we're gonna get back to our story, but I had to show you this, honey. I was so excited. Okay, so back to our story. So let's see what happens next. So here's the picture. And here we go. And look at them waiting at the table. It looks like she's making something. I wonder if she's using the honey. Let's see. Here are the muffins, all warm and delicious and dripping with honey on grandma's best dishes. So grandma got her best dishes and she made some warm homemade muffins dripping with honey. I bet y'all will love that. I love honey on biscuits and muffins. Let's see, we're gonna turn the page. Oh, there they are sitting at the table. Look how sweet he's loving on his grandpa, who's also the bee man. I'm glad that my grandpa's the bee man. I bet you he's glad. Why do y'all think he's so glad his grandpa's the bee man? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. He might be excited that he's the bee man because he gets all the honey that he wants to eat. Oh, that's a good one. He might be excited because he gets to go to see the bees and do cool things with Grandpa. So let's see. All right, now back here, this is going to tell us a little bit about bees. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about bees and I'm gonna show you something really cool that I have, right? So it says bees belong to the insect family. They have six legs, their body parts, they have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, two pairs of wings, two antenna, and two compound eyes that let them see in all directions. A bee begins as an egg placed in a tiny cell by the queen. So it's gonna start as an egg, right? So the bee is gonna start as an egg. So I'm gonna show you this. This right here is like a tiny cell. Um, you can see it, and that's the little egg that the queen places in there. Pretty neat, huh? So let's see. The egg hatches into a worm-like creature called a larva. So let's see. Here's a larva. Pretty neat, huh? Then... The larva changes into a pupa. So look, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna show you the two differences. So first it's a larva, and then it changes into a pupa. So the pupa is kind of looking a little bit more like a bee. See how it's clear like this though? Just like how the egg, the egg was super clear. See, and that's the little cell that they put into the um, hive, into one of the honeycombs. See? So I wonder what happens after this stage. So first we have an egg, and then we're going to have a larva, and then a pupa. All right, and then guess what happens? The pupa turns into a, that's right, a bee. Look at that bee. Do you see the bee? Does anyone know what a bee says? Oh, 
That's right, it goes bzzz. So bees are great because they give us honey. And guess what? It takes about three weeks. So it only takes about three weeks to go from an egg all the way to this bee. Pretty neat, huh? So guess what? Bees also live in large groups and they're called colonies. And then look, they also have drone bees. They're the male bees, so they're the boys. So all the drone bees are boy bees. And they have huge black eyes and plump bodies. They don't work inside the hive or collect nectar and pollen. They mate with the queen, so they're all the daddies. That's what the drone bees are. Then they have the queen bee has a slender body and is longer than the other bees. She is also the mother of them all. Her job is to lay eggs. In spring, busy season, she lays between one and 2,000 eggs every day. Wow, Michelle just learned something new. There's also the worker bees. They're all the females and they have many different jobs. Sometimes they feed the larva and tidy up the hive or they create wax and use it to make new cells. Sometimes they groom the queen and give her a rich protein food called royal jelly or they protect the hive from the enemy by standing guard at the entrance. Do you know a my beehive? You'll see the little guard bees. They'll be going back and forth. They're protecting the entrance door. They won't let anybody in. They kind of guard the door. Guess what they else they do? They also have to leave their hive to go gather nectar. So they get nectar from the flowers and pollen and water. And their jobs depend of what the colony needs them to do. So just like any family, you have different jobs. The bees have different jobs in the family. And then, um, let's see. There is a lot of other things that we can learn about in this book. We can learn about honey. There's a lot to learn about the honey. And pollination. And bee dancing. The bees do a dance. So this is a really cool book. It was called The Bee Man and it taught us all about honey and bees and how they make the honey. So once again, I want to show you our cute little bee. See? Look how cute. And this is how Miss Shelly got her delicious and amazing honey. Hope y'all enjoy this book, guys. I can't wait to read to y'all again. Talk to y'all later. Bye.